Hello, we're live here from the Ericsson booth at Twitter called Communication World in Brussels. It's really the event of the year for us in Mission Critical Networks. Uh, over here, we're showcasing the Ericsson portfolio for Mission Critical Networks, including uh, our latest uh, Ultra Compact Core, uh, the latest radios, and a number of demos for how you can use networks for critical communications and new use cases. So uh, very exciting to be here. Lots of customers coming around uh, and uh, much more to come. So, my name is Lars Schönberg and I'm presenting the 5G collaboration demo here at CCW25. This is very much about the programmability of the mobile networks and how we can take the next step after the introduction of push to talk and mobile broadband services for first responders. They are now ready to take the next step and moving into the programmable networks where we open up via the API aggregators the possibility to integrate and interact with the mobile networks and by that also improve situational awareness for first responders. Hi everyone, my name is Zainab Makni and I'm happy to be here today in the Critical Communication World 2025. Uh, so welcome to the journey to Mission Critical uh, Broadband Networks. Um, we are showing in this proof point actually um, the migration to narrowband, to broadband, and what we are doing as Ericsson to help the customers, to guide them on their journey to embrace broadband networks. So we are covering a bit the market trends, uh, the prioritization access to the spectrum, uh, how the CSP are getting more and more engaged throughout the journey, and as well other factors, uh, the use cases as well, we are covering them. Um, plus, of course, we are putting the spotlight on what we are offering to help them to migrate. And last thing, we are touching on the references that we have across the world. Um, so the engagement was very good with the customers, very fruitful. And I look forward to W 2026. My name is Gada. I'm here in CCW 2025 explaining the digital airspace demo. From Ericsson's side, we have different solutions for the different flying objects, whether it's low altitude up to 300 meters like the drones, or to the medium altitude up to 3,000 meters like the helicopters. We have different solutions. We can discuss which solution fits more to the customer. So the other part of the digital airspace demo is these XR glasses. When you wear the glasses, you have a real experience of a drone flying on an area with many people. And the network is giving an order to the drone to change its route because there are many people on the ground. And you see that the drone receives this information, change the path, and it avoided all the population. So this is something that we can do with the network capabilities of Ericsson as well. Hello, we are here at CCW 2025 and here with us is Ultra Compact Core. Uh, this is our new newest addition to our portfolio for defense and public protection. Uh, we are talking about 5G connectivity at the edge, sure. uh, improved situational awareness during disasters and opera uh, rescue operations. If you want to know more, please visit us at our booth at the, or visit our website at ericsson.com. I'm uh, Felix and this is the NTN uh, proof point where I'm uh, presenting uh, Ericsson efforts in contributing to a uh, 5GNR uh, standardization, 3GPP 5GNR standardization for NTN, um, and also discussing with uh, customers um, um, about um, requirements, what's expected from NTN to be able to be used for mission critical use cases. Hello, I'm Omer here at CCW 2025, and I'm going to be talking to you about the cyber defense operations for mission critical networks. As we all know, resilience is one of the best things and the most needed thing for the mission critical networks. 
And you cannot achieve that without security. And that's where we have the Ericsson Security Manager as the solution to help you achieve the security for the telecom networks. And when we have the solution based on zero trust architecture, starting from the wireless air defense with the attack surface management um, and this, uh, the, this security for the advanced persistent threats also covering the certificate management and the signaling domain for security. Uh, we really hope with our solution, we can really help you secure end to end uh, the, the telecom network and achieve the zero trust architecture um, journey that many of us are on now. Here from the critical communication world in Brussels, uh, where we really launched now our new purpose built a public protection and disaster recovery antenna. Our antenna here, the, the 1005, is really purpose-built and purpose-engineered for critical communication networks. One of the main features that we have is the form factor. It is really, really slim and also the weight of only 15 kilos. That means that uh, governmental networks can build coverage very often using existing site infrastructure as well as uh, as building uh, in a cluster with three antennas together so that you really can package this in a tight space making it easier and faster to roll out we are also of course talking a lot about the 700 megahertz band which is really being standardized for uh, for networks uh, for the for the safety networks not only at antennas here, we're also connecting this with the whole radio portfolio, enabling an end-to-end -end discussions about the functionality and the features to solve the challenges that, that uh, public safety networks have. So it's been super lot of, or lots of engagement. A lot of, uh, of networks from all across Europe has been visiting us, really connecting with some new people and looking forward to continue evolving our position in the critical communication world. So here in CCDM we are presenting uh, fire dimension critical drawdown connectivity, secure, reliable, robust, in air, on ground, in orbit, it's small form factors, it's big form factors. And it is the foundation for everything else that we see here in uh, CCW. All the vendors talk about their terminals, their applications, and all relies on what we deliver at the foundation to this uh, full building, the 5D connectivity. CCW for Ericsson, but I think more importantly for the whole industry, is the event of the year. It's the event where industry comes together to share information, to learn from each other, to collaborate and also encourage each other to take the necessary steps and become uh, things to, to go from where they are today to a broadband capable operation. It's been warm, it's been fun, it's been loud, it's been interactive, which is the most important thing. Uh, from an Ericsson perspective, we have had many, many visitors. All of us that we wanted to uh, come to our booth have come. They come more than once, many of them. We have, have been super active also in panelists and uh, as a speaker. So I think we have made quite a good sort of it uh, or showed our, uh, our presence here and contributed to the success of the show as such. Normally, I should say, oh, it's a success. Uh, but that sort of comes without saying. I would rather use this, it's being confirming from the sense that it's all about mobile broadband and the need of mobile broadband. Everybody here, as I said, asks for this. They take it for granted, many of them. Uh, the end users, they expect to have mobile broadband and, and, and all the other things that we have seen. They rely on it. <laughs>